It's 50 metres long, the weight of an aircraft carrier and hurtling in our direction. First picked up and filmed by a dentist, an amateur asteroid spotter in southern Spain. The chunk of space rock will whistle past Earth by a mere 17,000 miles, a near miss in cosmic terms at least. That's 5,000 miles closer to us than some satellites orbit, though a lot further out than the International Space Station, just over 200 miles up. And it'll happen around tea time next Friday. In other space news, today William Shatner chatted with the skipper of the International Space Station, one captain to another on the challenges they faced. How do you deal with the fear, which is also applicable to going up into space and, and returning, which is perhaps even more fearful? I, I read somewhere that uh, y you always knew your lines whenever you had a job in the acting profession. I have tried to always know my lines, whether it was as, as a fighter pilot or, or as an astronaut or as a test pilot. And, and the, way I, the way I deal with fear is I try to define what it is that's scaring me. And Listening in was veteran space shuttle astronaut Tom Jones with this warning about the dangers of asteroids to planet Earth. The Enterprise and the Star Trek crew always were whizzing through space at very high velocity and they didn't seem to have to worry about asteroids or cosmic debris because they had deflector shields uh, that they could put up that would def uh, protect them from any kind of cosmic strike. Well, the Earth doesn't have deflector shields, nor does the uh, International Space Station. We have some protection from the atmosphere, which can make small bodies burn up before they strike the surface. It'll be the Earth's closest shave since records began. The asteroid's about half the length of a football field, a bit bigger than a space shuttle. When something similar hit eastern Russia in 1908, it flattened 80 million trees in the Tunguska event. Space experts say asteroids need to be taken seriously. If it lands, it would leave a crater, I don't know, maybe you know, half a mile wide or something, but it's the other effects, the wind rush that that would cause, uh, would flatten all the trees, so it, it could cause a lot of damage. This particular asteroid will be back in 100 years with a one in seven and a half million chance of hitting the Earth. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News, Washington.